King's Dungeon Gamers. Would you like to know the score? It's you lot, Nil. Dungeon 4. Will things get better? Will they change? Well, let's find out what can be arranged. A pickle, a some elf service, if you please. We need a quick reminder as to the current state of play. But of course. Team in quest, Sarah, Susanna and Katrina, guiding a dungeoneer called Vicky. Duration, 15 minutes. Location, level one. Carrying the eye shield, a necklace and a key. This challenge hails from Norfolk, Master. Well, it's going really jolly well. Well, jolly good for that. Ah, don't they look so sweet and helpless? It's almost a shame to send them onwards. But no time for sentiment. The quest awaits. The game is on. Ah, now listen, team. These are the remains of Dungarth. Once a proud palace of men and a sanctuary from the predators of the forest. The way into level two apparently lies hidden here. But it won't be easy to find and it's unlikely to be unguarded. Where am I? You're in a kind of courtyard and in front of, to the side of you, there's a big arch leading off somewhere and beside each, each side of it, there's two smaller arches. Move it's back. It's an ogre. Extreme danger. Right, Vicky, Vicky, say you've got some valuable things that you'd got like to exchange. You've got some valuable things here. That you'd just trade for him to let you I'll pass. I'll trade them if you let me pass. Not trade them, give them to I'll him. give you them. Give them to him. Give them to him, Vicky. Vicky, quickly run. Two Quick. forward. Hold up the eye shield. Eye shield? What? Keep going forward. Keep holding the eye shield up. I think you may have done it, team. Well done. Keep going forward until we say stop. Side step to your right. Quickly. Quickly. Quickly, Vicky. Quickly run forward. Quickly, Vicky, run. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Vicky, stay there. There's a man sitting on a well. Turn, turn, turn round when I say stop, stop. Keep turning. <laughs> stop. Go forward. There's a well way here, team, and you need it. Stop. Turn the well. What should we do? Just leave it to Walk forward and say hello. Hello. Hello? No, well, not one more step forward, young lady. Not one more step at all. Nobody gets by. Excuse me. Carrot. <laughs> ah, when Fatilla the Hun is on guard. All right then, let's be having your name. I'm Vicky. 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 You're right. Because I've got a list here, you see. I've got to see if your name's on a list. A list of all them what is off a... Off a... Off a... Off a... Supposed to be a lad down the well. <laughs> you know, let's have a... Let's have a... Uh, look, um... Uh, uh, would, you, would you mind telling me if your name's on a list? Say yes, Vicky. Yes. Oh, all right, well, that's all right. <laughs> now, that just remains... <coughs> it's more matter... <coughs> <coughs> a migrant who grew a grew a tip. Right, so Vicky, give him the key. Give him the give key. Give him the key and say it's a present for him. It's a present for you. Ooh, thank you very much. What is it? It's a key. It's a mag say it's a magic key to open any door. It'll open lots of doors. Lots of doors, will it? Oh, you can't need it then. Hopefully. Oh, lots of doors. Well, I've always wanted to do that. Pantry doors, for instance. For you. Well, if you if you'll just be on your way, then I'll be getting back to my carrot. Okay. On voyage. Well? Thank you. Yes. Do it too. Can you see the edge of the well? Yeah. Climb up into it. Okay. Right, climb into it. Okay. Say goodbye to the man. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, Vicky. You, there's a in front of you. There's a big square, which at the bottom I think it might be water. And there's a lady, I think, sitting on a rock just the other side. On your right hand side. There's a ledge all the way around the water, and you're on the ledge. If we if we get you onto the other side, then you might be able to speak to her. Right, turn round. Keep yeah. turning. 
Stop. Stop. <laughs> Side step to your left until we say stop. Stop. Go forward. One. Keep, Keep going. Keep going. Great goblins, Tate. Stop. Turn Another round. one of those pesky dwarfs. Stop. Stay where you are. Why well, can't I good look at you? No. No point in taking risks. Don't like dwarfs anyway. Jolly Wells can't trust them. So, I expect the best thing I can do is chop your head off. Yes, that's it. Vicky, so you can always trust something with its head missing. Quickly, team, you can't Vicky, fight us. You must talk. Stop, your no! Sidestep to your. Go back. Your Turn round. Say that you're. Say you're a friend. You're a friend. You don't, say that you don't like say, dwarfs. Can you do any friend? Just talk. St Vicky, stay still. Stop. Right. Tell her you're your friend. You're her friend, and you want to help her if you can. And you don't like dwarfs. I'm either. a friend, and I will help you. We can. So you don't like dwarfs? Is there anything you can like do for her? I don't like dwarfs either. don't like dwarfs? Well, you look rather like a dwarf. What, what are you then? Tell her you like her. I'm a dungeoneer. Oh, a dungeoneer. Oh, what's your name then? Vicky. What's your quest? We've got a quest for the shield. That's for the shield, eh? Pretty silly quest if you ask me. Still, no accounting for heroics, but... Come, come over here, Vicky, and um, we'll see if we can get you out of here. Now turn to your left. Turn to your left. Right, and uh, sidestep to your left. Right, OK. Walk forward, then. Well, I think you better just one more step and you better stop, then. OK, well, one more, one more. OK, stop. Right, turn to your right and walk towards me. You're a rather slow walker, aren't you? OK, stop there. Right. You're quite tall, actually. I suppose you don't really look like a dwarf at all. Right, no, this way. Oh, you're rather wobbly as well, aren't you? Vicky, we can see you through the... Um, we can't actually see you. Where am I? Right, you're in a room and... There's somebody in, uh, stocks? Stocks. Yeah. In Quick! Stocks. Save me from the barbarian! It's that awful guard for Tilla. You can't leave me here! Quickly! Sidestep to your left until I say stop. <gasps> stop. Ah, sir! Let her be! Where's my word of business than that? Yes, I thought as much. Some silly little dungeon made all curls and no muscles. An absolutely useless in a stand-up fight, I'll be bound. Look here, Vicky, the choice is yours. Either leave her be and come with me now, or you can do without my help and my sword. We don't need complications like that. Should we go without her? Should we go without her? Yeah. Because then she might help us. Vicky? Yeah? Say that, that you, um, what should we tell her to say? I think no, don't you know who's coming with her? Quickly. Save me. Can't make her mind that. Right, Vicky, go forward until I say stop. Stop. Vicky, turn around to your right and turn to I'll make her mind up. It's either her or me. Come stop. along. What's going on? What's... Right, Vicky, um, we want you to rescue the lady in the stocks. To your... Right, walk forwards. Until, can you see the stocks? Stop. Can you see the stocks? Yeah. Right, lift it up. The <gasps> top bit. <gasps> oh, right, I'm off. Oh! Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's great. Now, you go this way, and I'll catch you up later if I can. Mm -hmm. But first, I've got to check for that barbarian. It's <sighs> OK. Vicky? Yeah. You're, in a bi you're in a big sort of stone room, and in front of you, stop, there's a, a um, barge hole in the floor. I think it's a well or something. OK. Could you... S <gasps> oh, well, thanks again, Vicky. <gasps> Curls and no muscles indeed. Well, the least I can do is watch the path behind you for that awful fertilla. Well, come on then. And don't you worry about me. I'm older than I look, you know. <laughs> Which is strange because I never seem to get any older. Where am I? Vicky, you're going up some steps. Vicky? Where am I? You're in a room and on your on the left of you there's a magician writing down. Um, and in front of you there's a door and there's something on the floor. Can you see what it is? On the floor. Some bones. Some bones. Um, oh, should she speak to them? Go and sit down on the stool. Say hello. Right. 
You direct it, Katrina. Right. Um, take... Go, um, side step to your left until I say stop. Right, stop. Can, Can you see... Stool? Yeah, go yeah. and sit down yeah, on sit it. Down. No, don't sit down until no, he tells you to. Just stand Say hello to the Say hello. hello. Oh! Don't come in. We do get a lot of visitors, as you can't imagine. That's left. Don't sit down. Now, I suppose you wouldn't want to know where you are, but of course that's impossible, because even if you thought you knew, you'd be wrong. This is not the chamber of opposite extraction, and I am not the guardian. Now, or, or perhaps then, when you've finished not sitting down, I'm not going to ask you a few questions. If you get the answers wrong, then I will, of course, be able to reward you with magic. Speak up. I won't be with you shortly. Mm, tricky, this, and it's going to require a deal of concentration. Now, listen very carefully, and don't let Vicky jump to conclusions. As for this guardian, I'm beginning to find his style of trickery somewhat familiar. Pay attention now. Wrong. I'm quite unready. Last question. Who was the daughter of Uther Pendragon? What should we say? Um, just say something. Just say just something. Say something wrong. Say, yeah. I suggest that if you reverse the idea of the question, I don't think he wants to know who the daughter was. Who the son was. The son. <laughs> say God. <laughs> say God, Vicky. God. Falsehood. What happened to Cinderella's coach at midday? It, happened, um, it, it appeared. It's because it disappeared. So it, it so appeared. It, yeah. Do we have to answer backwards as well? No, just say it, it appeared. Appeared. So it did not turn into a pumpkin or something? No, um, say it appeared. Yes. yes. Say it appeared. It appeared. Falsehood. Does that mean right? Do we have to answer the questions the right Who way? Who didn't have to worry about the Ides of March? March of Ides or something. Well, we, we don't know this anyway, so we might as well write. say the March of Ides. Okay. Something. Say the March of Ides. What? Say the March of Ides. Okay, the March of Ides. Falsehood. Marvellous! You've done awfully well, so I'm going to give you a spell called Sprint. Stay as long as you like, won't you? Vicky, stand up. Can you see the stool? Vicky, can you see the stool? Yeah. Can you just manoeuvre around it so you're at the front of it? Does it give us a spell yet or something? Yes, Sprint. Right, um, sides, turn round. Keep turning around until we say stop. Stop. Right, you direct us there. Where's the spell? Go get well. Go well, aim for the exit. Oh, yes, just go. It's at the back there. Right, quickly. Vicky, walk forward. Stop. Right, walk until we tell you to stop. Vicky. Yeah. You're in a big room. There's two doors either s at the very end of the room. And can you see there's something in the middle of the room? No. The magic room, team, and magic may help you get through it. Pick the... Oh, pick it. Pick it. Slice it. Slice it to your right. Tell me to stop. Okay. Stop. stop. Go forward. Wait. Come back a bit. Huh? Vicky, come back. Move quickly, back. Quickly, sidestep to your right. Go forward. Forward, Vicky, quickly. Vicky, stop. Stop. Sidestep side side to your right. To your right. right. What a pity. It's what we call the block and tackle. Magic could have saved you, but I'm afraid you didn't earn it, team. And so there's only one thing for it. Spell casting. D-I-S-M-I-S-S. -S -S. So, it's farewell to Vicky, Sarah, Susanna and Katrina. Strange, because it wasn't the opposition that confused you. Merely the opposites. The path behind will take you safely home to Norfolk. And there's no hidden meaning there.
They've gone, Master. Yes, and not a moment too soon. For I sense there's someone else approaching the threshold. Ah, yes. Enter, stranger. Ah, and who makes this challenge? Dickon Hares. What? Dickon? I think you'd better call your advisors quickly. Dominic, Tim, Praveen. Welcome. And who guides this dungeoneer? Dominic Hares. Tim Herbert. Praveen Sharma. Oh, I see. And where do you all come from, Dickon? Torquay. I had a parrot said that. Pickle. <clears throat> your challenge is accepted. Now, Dickon, you've read the Adventurer's Code, no doubt. So you will realize there are a few rules in the dungeon, but those there are, I shall remind you of. Pickle the knapsack. Now, the food you need, you must find and place in this knapsack to feed your own sprite of energy. Its image will follow you through the dungeon and must be sustained, or your life in our game is over. Otherwise, you may carry two objects at any one time. Pickle, the helmet. There. Now, the rest of you, guide him well, or your challenge is doomed. Are you ready, Dickon? Yes. Good. Turn then, face the dungeon door, and step boldly forward. Okay, Dickon, can you hear me? Yes. Right, you're in a room with three passageways. Don't go, don't move anywhere at the moment because you're on a kind of very thin platform. The choice, Master. It's the place of choice. Yeah, quite so, Pickle. Now listen, team, these are changing times and the dungeons you must conquer are changing with them. The quest you choose here will select a path for you to follow, but where it takes you even I may not guess. So choose now, the quest to redeem the crowning glory. Or to find the Sword of Freedom. Oh, the crown. It ought to be the crown. It ought to be their choice, Pickle. And it will be if only you keep quiet. <clears throat> so what do you I think we ought to go for the crown. Yeah. It's the crown. All right. So we'll go for the crown. So, Dickon. Yes? Uh, right. You st there's a kind of rotating platform, not quite in front of you. Right. And... I think you're going to have to go on that to get anywhere. Okay. So, walk forward. Okay. Can you see it whirring round? Yeah, I can see the platform. <laughs> I think you must hurry, team. Quickly, then. Ah, he's done it. Right. Now then, get to the edge if you can see that. Yeah. And when we say walk, I want you to walk. You're going to come back to the platform that you were on originally. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah. Then there's another one. Yes. The next one and the next one we want you to walk on to. Right. So, go. <laughs> right. Stop. Again. Stop. You seem to be in a kind of alleyway, and in front of you, you've got a large drawbridge. It's up, though. It's up, yeah, that's the and problem. There's an escaping hole before. Ah, something's, <laughs> something's appearing. There's a face. There's a face. Oh dear, oh dear. This weeping egress is a spellbound door. It's been locked with lies and can only be opened with the truth. Its name is Doris. Well, it's a door, isn't it? As Pickle is so keen to join your team, perhaps he can tell us how to deal with her. Listen, Dominic. Calling here is simple enough. All your friend Dickon has to do is to call out true and false, false and true, open up and let us through. I suggest you ask him to do it. Right, Dickon. Yes? I want you to call out true and false, false and true. Open up and let us through. True and false, false and true. Open up and let us through. Oh dear, oh dear. I hear, I hear. A male goose is called a cob. True or false? It's false. 
false. It's a pen or a cob. Pen, uh, and pen and it's that swan. True. No, it's the swan. Oh, Swans it's... are pens and cobs, I think. Aren't so they? It's... And a gander's a goose. Dickon, it's false. Dickon, do you know what it is? It's false. Any I ideas? Think... Dickon? Um, what do you think? I, th I think it's false. We think it's false. Yeah. False. Truth accepted. Yes. The Manx cat comes from Manchester. That's True false. or false? Heart of man. It's false. False, false. false as well. False. Truth accepted. The flying fox is an insect. True or false? False because it's a bat. Is it? Well, you tell him. It's false because it's a bat. False. Truth accepted. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, this is terrible. Truth will out, oh, yes. Truth will out, and so will you. Warning, Master. Oh, this is terrible. They've scarcely begun, and time is turning. Hmm, I'm afraid it's turned, Pickle. And their turn, for the moment, is over. Now that they can't hear us, what do you think of them? A bit serious, aren't they? Well, of course they are. You don't think it's a game, do you? And what about you lot? Do you think it's a game? Well, do you? <laughs>